Welcome to 30 Days of Embodiment Practices. My name is Leanna Blackburn, and whether or not you found me through my dance videos, through emotional release work, or my embodiment work, I'm really honored you're here. Welcome. This all started with the personal desire to want to have a consistent practice every day for myself to express authentically, to move through the different parts of me, to dance through the different parts of me, and build a more tender, loving relationship with all those different parts of myself. And anytime I have a deep desire, I know that there's someone else out there who has the same desire. So instead of me just doing this by myself, I decided to share it here with you. This is very exciting. So for the next 30 days, I will be uploading one video at a time and each video will have a different prompt. This prompt will be an invitation for you to get to know a different part of yourself. And within that prompt, I have found a different song that will help support the expression of the relationship of that part of yourself. So we'll talk about the prompt and then I'll invite maybe anywhere for three to four minutes, maybe five minutes sometimes, I will invite the practice of expression, embodiment, movement with this song. And then afterwards, we'll take the time to hold space for anything that came up through that expression, learn how to listen to the wisdom and the data that this information that your body has for you, to hold space for it, expand your capacity to be with it, and create gratitude and a more loving relationship with it. This is what each video will be. And there'll be a different prompt and a different song every day. If you have never done somatic exercises before, somatic means relating to the body. Soma is body. So it's all about connecting to your body, not just your thoughts and your ideas, not just trying to fix something, trying to understand something, but wanting to feel something. So it's all about giving yourself permission to feel and be exactly as you are. This is not a practice to learn to fix something, to change something, to problem solve. Although you very might well feel a lot of things change, we're not coming in with the objective that we need to be changed or something needs to be fixed or different about us. <sighs> the most important thing is that we are doing these practices with safety in mind and consent in mind. Personal consent, personal safety, knowing your body's limits, knowing your body's um, consent and actually tuning in. I might give you a prompt that when you tune in, your body is rejecting completely that day. If that is feeling like I don't want to go there, that is your body saying it doesn't have consent. We get to practice learning the difference between, oh, that, that makes me a little bit uncomfortable and I'm afraid of this a little bit and no, I'm not ready for this. My body does not want this. We get to practice learning and, and discerning the difference between the two because so many people are out there desperate for change, desperate to, to create um, a different life, a different relationship to themselves, yet they are completely afraid to change anything. They are completely unwilling to do things different. So it's important that we are open for change, that we open ourselves up to discomfort, but we are very mindful of consensual practices with our body. Because what we wanna do is we wanna build a trusting relationship that our body's rhythm is something that we trust and that we're not looking to push and force an agenda or a timeline on our body's natural rhythm. If we come in here and we are trying to rush and push and put our body in circumstances that don't feel safe and don't feel consensual, then we are subjecting our healing journey to creating gaslighting and more trauma. So it's very important that this practice starts in safety and consent. The other thing that I wanna talk about is noticing how to bring your awareness to sensations in the body. Again, if you've never done somatic exercises before, it's important that we learn how to awaken our senses. A lot of times when we close our mind, thoughts are the main thing that come in. Oh, I have a thought about this. Oh, why this? I wanna discover this. Oh, this is what I think. In place of all the thoughts, although that has great data and wisdom for us, I want you to tune in to the sensations that are happening within your body. So when I offer you a prompt and invite you to close your eyes or tune in, taking that thought, the prompt, 
and noticing where that awakens a part of your body. It could awaken a many different parts of your body. You could feel something in your stomach when you think about that. You could feel something in your throat, in your face, in your jaw. It's about bringing your awareness into the bodily sensations that come up with that prompt. These sensations could be temperatures. You could feel cold or hot there. These could be tingles. It could feel like prickles. It could feel tight and dense. It could be color. Maybe you see sensations with different colors like, oh, it's all sparkly purple or, oh, it's really black and, and tar-like. You could see shapes and textures um, that you could even relate it to characters that you've seen in books or movies. This is all these different ways where we can heighten our senses of our body's experience. So this will be something that if you've never done this before, will take practice, will just take consistency of showing up and inquiring, how does this feel in my body? When I think about this word, this prompt, how does this make me feel? Where do I feel it? And what does it feel like? And then from there, when we move on to the music and we move on to actually allowing our this part of ourselves to express we invite the particular part of ourselves, not our brain not our thoughts but let's say I found a feeling in my throat and it felt tight and restricted I allow this part of myself to move to talk to breathe so if, if this thing if this sensation were to fully take over my whole body and make a movement, what would that look like? And this is the journey that we're going through. We're giving full permission and freedom to let our body take on shape and form that this sensation um, feels like. And you can do that with your breath and your voice. If I'm playing a song that you know and you wanna sing along with the lyrics and that helps the sensation feel more embodied, by all means, do that. You will almost always see me doing this practice standing up. Maybe sometimes it'll take me to the floor or to a chair or something like that. But I invite you, if you can, really do this standing. Really see how much you can intensify and allow and permit your authentic expression. It doesn't mean that if I allow my body 100% that I'm going to be wild and crazy. Maybe 100% means really, really small and really specific and really slow. Maybe that's my 100%. So I don't want you to misinterpret it, misinterpret 100% as being wild and explosive all the time. You can be 100% slow and lethargic and tired. You could commit to that 100%. There is no right or wrong here. It's just about tuning in to your body's intuitive desire for expression. And then at the end of the practice, we will really tune in. We will be curious. We will become the curious observer and witness and listener to our body. We will get to learn from it and we will create more capacity to hold things within ourselves that were uncomfortable to hold before. We will become more comfortable with the uncomfortable and we will find that we become more expansive and that we become more compassionate and empathetic toward ourselves and all these different parts of ourselves that make up us to be the beautiful human that we are. I'm so excited that you are here. If you ever have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me on my social media account, which has the same tag, or write questions here, or email me. Um, I want to support your journey as much as possible. Thank you again for being here, and I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next 30 days.